Okay, so in this case, we need to go ahead and solve the following equation. How do I do it? Well, here I have a quadratic function or a quadratic equation. How do I know that and what is a quadratic? Remember, quadratic means that you're going to have two solutions. I know this is a quadratic because it is a square here. So how do I solve this? The first step is to go ahead and make sure that you always pass everything to the other side and make this equals to zero. So this negative 55 is going to go to the other side, but because it's negative, passes to the other side positive. Awesome. Now I have a trinomial equals to zero. Well, here we need to factor. A lot of people get uh, tend to get confused to adding x squared minus 16x. I cannot do that. Remember, x squared is one thing and x is another thing. This is a cat and this is a dog. I cannot mix them unless you're weird, but <laughs> anyhow, x squared minus 16x plus 55, I need to go ahead and factor. How do I do that? I need two numbers when I multiply, give me 55, and the same numbers when I add them, give me 16. Well, can I look for it? 11 times 5 is going to be 55. Also, 11 and 5 can give me negative 16. I also look at my answers if you want to cheat and see that all the answers are 5, 11, or negative 5 and 11. So I say, oh, wait a second, negative 5 times negative 11 is equal to 55. Also, negative 5 minus 11 is negative 16x. Beautiful. Now, be very careful here. A lot of people tend just to go ahead and do negative 5, negative 11 as the answer. We have not finished the problem. Remember, I'm looking for the values that give me equals to zero. So I need to take the x minus 5 out and just do x minus 5 equals to zero. When I pass the 5 to the other side, I get my first answer. It makes sense. 5 minus 5 is zero. Zero times whatever is equals to zero. Remember, you're looking for the values that make x equals to zero. Now I grab the second one, x minus 11 equals to zero. I solve for x, passing this 11 to the other side, negative goes positive, bingo, we got our answers. So x has to be 5 and 11. In this case, be very careful because they will give you the same answer but with different signs. What does that mean? That means that when you plug 5 here, you're going to get negative 55. And also when you plug 11, you're going to get negative 55. Math is beautiful and that's it.